What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we got some awesome battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Ruben3215, so shout out to this battler. Ruben also wanted to give a shout out to the King's Health Pokemon Go Discord server, so shout out to them. Alright, getting in the first battle. Now this is open Great League as well, even though this could work as a Halloween Cup team, the one thing you'd want to worry about there is the Wormadam Trash, obviously, with this lineup, but this is going to be open Great League battles. Now, we see a Galarian Stunfisk on the lead right here, Numbreon actually does pretty well against it doing a lot of neutral damage now typically when we see galarian sunfisk they do pair a lot with grass type pokemon in the back and that's a good shield right there catching the earthquake which is huge if you shield the rock slides it's definitely going to be tough but shielding the earthquake is definitely a lot better i think i have these sped up too fast you guys let me know i feel like this is sped up too fast i don't know but they do land another earthquake which is fine umbreon is extremely tanky in foul place here, are going to start putting pressure now on the Galarian Stunfist. So they're going to shield this next one. They probably will, or probably won't right here. They'll probably come in and load up on energy with whatever they have in the back. They instant swap, and we do see a jump pluff. So it is double grass in the back. Okay, so Trevenant right here. Please, please, just land. They think it's an Aqua Tail. Oh, they shielded the Ice Beam. Okay, so that's a good call by the opponent. They're probably going to be throwing Seed Bomb right here. It should be a Shadow Ball. No, it's just going to be a seed bomb. That's not going to be enough. That means they can get to the ice beam in time. That is huge right here for Quillfish as it will one-shot the Trevenant. Boom! It goes down. Now we do see Jump Pluff come in. So the Tentacruel now is going to close this game out doing super effective damage with Poison Jab. And it does have Acid Spray as well. And there's honestly nothing Jump Pluff can do. Acrobatics Energy Ball is going to hurt. But it's not going to one-shot a Tentacruel, and there's still an Umbreon to deal with in the back. So Tentacruel is an absolute menace. Poison Jab and Acid Spray was already very strong, but now that it has access to Skull, that just makes it a complete part of this open Great League meta. As you guys can see, the Acrobatics, not enough to take it out. And yeah, that's, that's a good game. They decided to surrender right there. All right, moving to the next one. We have Umbreon on the lead versus Alolan Ninetales. So this is obviously a lead loss. We're going to see a swap out right away. So here comes that Quillfish, and we do see a Sableye swapped in. So this is actually a good situation where they can go for... This is definitely faster than I normally have it, but that's okay. We get through these battles quick right here. Um, this is actually a good situation because they can soften up this Sableye and load up on energy as they will be able to... No, okay, they're going to go for the Aqua Tail. I was going to say, maybe the Ice Beam flips it, but I don't think it does. I think it would still survive. So they do get another Aqua Tail off. And now Umbreon right here can now load up on Energy. You are going to be taking a lot of health from the return that they will be hit with. But it should only be one, maybe a return and a foul play. They shouldn't be hit by two returns right here. I'd actually be surprised. But then again, these battles are at extreme speeds right now. So I'm not successfully... Yeah, definitely no two returns. All right, so we're going to see a last resort now come through on the nine tails, which is nice. Having last resort to do this neutral damage is pretty huge, and we'll probably see a swap out now into the Tentacruel. What is going to be in the back? It's a Trevenant in the back. That's probably going to be a GG. Poison Jab and Acid Spray. It's just going to shred through this thing. They can easily double shield, and the opponent shields the Acid Sprays as well. They're going to be desperate to try to get as many charge moves off, but Tentacruel is going to take this one. They're going to go ahead and shield these Seed Bombs, go for more Acid Spray damage, debuffing, so the Poison Jabs just do more and more, and that's a good game. I love this combination of Umbreon um, and Tentacruel, and they got the fast move through right there, so that is definitely a good game because ten, uh, the Trevenant now will go down we do see the nine tails come in, so they're going to go ahead and go for the skull to close this game out. Good call right there, going for that neutral damage to be sure to finish it off. Good game right there. All right, moving to the next one. We have Umbreon on the lead versus a Bombasnow. I actually haven't seen a Bombasnow this whole season, so very cool to see. They decide to stay in, and they're going to go ahead and look to go for Ice Beam. But here comes the most likely Energy Ball. And they do decide to shield it right there, reading that they might be weak in the back. And a Sableye now coming in to two and a half Aqua Tails here on Quillfish is definitely going to feel the pain. So they're going to go ahead. Oh, here comes that Ice Beam I was talking about. This might just flip the matchup if it lands. I'd love to see how much damage it does. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And do they get to the next Aqua Tail? They do in time. This could force that final shield or the first shield, I should say, um, from the Sableye. And now they can let this go and come in with Umbreon and load up on energy. And it was a return as well, not a foul play. Very interesting. Okay, so they're going to come in with the Umbreon, load up on energy, a bomb of snow as well. 
um, is has a little bit less health, and this is honestly not a, a bad matchup, Umbreon versus the Abomasnow, but I think what they were wanting to do was draw out something that might counter Tentacruel, and we do see a Lantern come in, so they're gonna come in with Tentacruel into the Lantern, okay, so they're looking to close this game out with Tentacruel, or with Umbreon, and this is a Water Gun Lantern as well, so they gotta be very careful about shielding the Thunderbolt or the Surf. They're gonna let it go and it was just a Surf, that's a huge call right there. And these Poison Jabs are really starting to add up, so even in a matchup where you think on paper, right, Electric versus Water, the Lantern has it, well it definitely does, BOOM! Tentacruel goes down, but Umbreon doesn't care! There is no hard counter to Umbreon, so having a lot of energy and a shield left, is going to be able to close this game out and these battles are going by so fast it's so hard to keep up with but that's okay we're going to be flying through it this is definitely a fun team i do apologize i'll make sure to adjust the speed um, on future videos but ultimately you guys are getting the idea here umbreon tentacruel and quillfish quillfish i love the quillfish with ice beam typically you run sludge wave but the ice beam makes a lot of sense for altarias and flyers so all right, we got a nine tails here on the lead, a Kanto nine tails. So let's see if they decide to swap out. They will into the Quillfish and we do see Empoleon come in. So this is one of those situations where you're doing all resisted damage, but the goal is to probably get the Empoleon extremely low and then load up on energy with Umbreon to be able to outpace the Kanto nine tails and put a lot of pressure on them. So this is definitely a spicy team by the opponent and you'll love to see it. And this is probably gonna be a drill pet coming through, which I don't think is enough to take out Quillfish. Yeah, not enough to take it out, so they should be able to get to one more Aqua Tail in time, getting the Empoleon extremely low and in perfect range to farm down with Snarl. But Empoleon can still put out a lot of damage with the Hydro Cannon that it does have access to and the Waterfall. So we will see the Umbreon come in and just try their best to load up on energy. That's the whole point with Umbreon in neutral situations. Um, you want to come back into that fight with charge or energy advantage versus the Ninetales, which we do see come back in. So maybe something in the back is weak to Umbreon, because coming in with the Kanto Ninetales is going to be asking for it. Now they decide to swap out into Tentacruel, something weak in the back. It was a Frostlass. You can just tell by the choices that your opponents make. You can tell right there. But Tentacruel does not care. Poison Jab, even though this is resisted, Poison Jab and Acid Spray, it does not matter. Tentacruel is just going to eat this Frostlass up, and they do shield the Shadow Ball as well, which is pretty huge, and they're just going to go for another Acid Spray. This is what's cool about Tentacruel. In situations where you're in double shields against your opponent, you just throw the Acid Spray all day long. Yeah, this is going to be a good game. They should be able to shield and just farm down because the Frostlass won't be able to get to a Shadow Ball in time, even though the Avalanche right there. Yeah, they get farmed down. That's GG's. They didn't shield anything, and that's that's tough, right? You don't shield the Acid Spray, which already is resistant and does no damage, but ultimately you're just going to lose because the Ninetales now, they swap out back into Umbreon here to catch the charge move. This is probably going to be Overheat right here. No, it's just a Weather Ball. Um, but they... Oh, this might actually be dangerous. Okay, they should be able to get to two foul plays. If the Ninetales could farm down with Ember, we might see a soul. Uh-oh. Oh, they get to it in time. If the Ninetales got that, they could have overheated the Tentacruel and it would have been game over, but Umbreon is able to take it right there. So good battle, very well played. And right, we got Umbreon versus Galarian Stunfisk again. Um, so let's see how this plays out again. Typically, you see Grass-type Pokemon when we see the lead, and actually we see a Metacham come in. So this is actually a pretty cool situation where you're still going to do neutral damage. You can come in with Tentacruel. Um, you just have to watch out for Psychic right here. That's the move you really need to watch out for because it's going to do massive, super effective damage. So they do decide to shield, and it was the Psychic, so that's pretty big. They can overload on energy and now go for Scald. This is going to put pressure to on the Metacham to shield, and they will have a second Scald ready to go for the Galarian Stunfisk on the back end. So Metacham does go down, I guess, maybe Sableye on the team as well. We'll have to see. Galarian Stunfisk is going to come back in, but having that Scald locked and loaded here for Tentacruel is huge, because now you chunk that health or get a shield, which they got a shield in this case, and they're going to go ahead and let this go. If this is Earthquake, so be it. It is. Boom! Tentacruel goes down. And now we will probably see that Umbreon come back in. But if they're reading Sableye, they're going to come in with Quillfish. No, they're going to come in with Umbreon right here. Still playing it safe. You never know what could be in the back. And you know Umbreon still has a good matchup. And you don't necessarily have to shield in these situations. So they're just going to stand right here. We do see a swap. Oh, yes. Come on. Do it. Here we go. 
Here we go. They're gonna have to shield, but I think the Quillfish can outpace the two charge moves right here, ladies and gentlemen. Battlers of all ages, this is what we've been waiting for. They have one Ice Beam ready to go. Are they gonna shield it? No, they shield it. Get to the second one. They get to the second one in time. Let's go, Quillfish. Come on. This has got a one-shot. There's no way it doesn't. Boom! One shot's the Altaria. And they should be able to get to the Aqua Tail as well. This is going to be doing super effective damage. And then Umbreon, I believe, still has a foul play ready to go. Yeah, it's got a foul. Yeah, it's got way too much health. So that's going to be a good game. Very well played. There's nothing the opponent could do right there. Even two Earthquakes back-to-back -back is not going to be enough. So Umbreon will be able to take it. My goodness, the ice beams, you'll love to see it right there. And I think that was the final one. That was the final battle. So awesome 5-0 set right there with this team. Again, I apologize. It was sped up a bit, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. Umbreon, Tentacruel, and Quillfish with ice beam. That's so cool. I'll actually want to give this team a try um, later on this week. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.